Hello you all, this is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at Grey Goose Vodka. I've never had this particular vodka before, so today I'm going to make my first experience with this uh, premium product on camera. Um, we take a look at the bottle though first, because I have to say that this is one of the most beautiful bottles that I've ever seen. Um, we've got geese right here, printed on the bottle itself. The entire bottle is finished in a sort of a matte finish with only one goose right here with a clear finish in the very center of it. Um, we have a mountainous coastline painted all around here with a flock of geese right there in black and white. And then when we look through the uh, goose right in the center, we see the entire scenery uh, in blue and white. Overall, I have to say that this is probably one of my favorite beverage bottle designs. Okay, let us zoom in on the logo right here. Grey Goose Vodka, distilled and bottled in France. 700 milliliters are in here, 40% of alcohol. Let us turn this around. Uh, pause if you want to read that. Pause if you want to read that. Pause if you want to read that as well. And the writing on the bottom is a bit more difficult to get focused all at the same time. Let us move to the top of the bottle. Here we have the wrapper that looks nice as well. And I think this is where we are going to stay for a moment and open up this thing. The first time for me ever to open up a Grey Goose bottle. I think I have to pull that off. Okay. Uh, it's pulled off. Oh, this is such a special moment. I wanted to do that for quite some time, I have to say, but I never got around to actually buying one myself. Just way too expensive, this stuff. Okay, we've got a little cap right here and um, a cork, it seems. Okay, let's get this in the frame. Do I have to twist it off? Yeah, twisting and pulling. Oh! Oh yes, it smells of oh, the very finest of cleaning agents, that's for sure. Yeah, it smells all right for a vodka. It doesn't have that very sharp ethanol flavor, scent I should say. It smells all right for a vodka. I'm not a vodka connoisseur by any means and um, as you can see by the glass that I've brought, I'm not going to consume a whole lot of this today because I might die. But we are still going to go for a little sip right here, very carefully. I think this is going to be it for the first one. Oh, I dripped a bit of the precious liquid. Okay, very small amount. Now when we have more contact with air, it smells a bit more of ethanol. It's still fine though, so uh, I'm gonna go for the first sip right now. <laughs> okay, you can hear. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not an average vodka drinker at all. Um, Flavour-wise, it is better than I thought though. I still have that, that alcohol sensation in uh, the back of uh, in the back of my throat it's quite warm it is not as sharp it doesn't sting the mouth in any way as some vodkas do this one right here seems to be all right i mean <laughs> you can expect uh, an all right vodka for that price can you <laughs> um yeah it's it's better than i thought okay you see i'm, I'm grabbing the bottle right away so this is going to be dangerous i'm gonna um, put in the cork all the way to keep myself from consuming this um, too frivolously for the moment and I'm, I'm going for a second sip yeah so far so good let's see how the second sip is <laughs> yep <laughs> it's i mean it, it's a bit embarrassing to to make a video like that and act this way but this is just how I am I'm not I'm not used to this sort of stuff I usually just drink beer um, but I have to say yeah um, sensation wise it is warm uh, in the mouth in the back of your throat it is not as sharp 
as, as stingy in, in flavor, in sensation in your mouth as some other vodkas are. Um, there are some, some very horrible ones out there. Um, I live in Germany and we have like Gorbachev vodka here, which is bad. Uh, Yeltsin and all those, those very cheap ones are very bad. The cheapest decent vodka that you can get here, in my opinion, is Absolut vodka, that Swedish vodka that is all right as well. It's got a bit of a licorice flavor to it. This one right here has not, but it's got a... This, this one right here, it, it feels more rounded off, if that makes sense. Um, Absolute vodka is still a bit sharper in, in flavor, in alcohol sensation in your mouth. This one right here is a bit milder, it seems. But still, you do have a very dominant um, alcohol flavor though, and, and scent as well. But that is to be expected from uh, a beverage that contains 40% of alcohol. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Quite standard for vodkas though. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to end this particular video. Usually I uh, finish off the bottle or the, the glass of whatever I am reviewing. I'm not going to do this with this one right here. I might die if I try. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's all right. A very expensive beverage this is. Um, it tastes good though for, for what it is. I'm, I'm not a huge vodka fan, but I could imagine to, to drink this more often. Um, if I have the choice between um, an average vodka and this, I'm, I'm definitely going to choose this because it's okay, and the bottle is just beautiful. I'm certainly going to keep the bottle after this one has been uh, consumed all the way. Anyway, if you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.